How are you all doing? Classy here. And in this video, I'm going to be taking brightness measurements of the 77 inch Sony A80J. And let me uh, come over to it for a moment to show you settings. So I did another factory reset. Everything is pretty much out of the box. We are in HDR using the Spears and Munzel disc for the patterns. And my meter has been profiled now. So you can see, actually, pretty much everything is out of the box. Just disabled all the processing stuff. And we are in accurate Expert One color mode. There's been no changes to the service menu white balance. I'll be measuring that later. This is just purely HDR measurements out of the box. What can you expect? Uh, this TV has approximately 250 hours of usage on it. Um, I can't show you that because when you do a factory reset, it does delete that information. Uh, but I have been keeping track of that. So you can see everything is pretty much basic on it. I'm going to set the camera up where you can see this little window over here. and I will speak and tell you the window size that I'm measuring and then you will see here the measurement so now I'm going to start at 100 percent and work my way down and I'm going to leave the pattern on screen for approximately 10 seconds before taking the measurement And I start with the larger window sizes and work down because if you do it the opposite, you'll have a bright spot in the center of the screen that's warmer than the rest, and it can throw off the rest of the screen. So there at 100%, we hit 150. Um, but anyway, I was saying, it, like if you did went from 1% to 2% to 5%, your 5% may still be affected by the smaller 1% and 2% windows. So that's why I like to work my way down to go from dimmer to brighter. And once we get to smaller sizes, I will also throw up a black screen for a little bit in between them to cool the panel off. All right, now 10 seconds is not mandatory, but the longer the pattern is on the screen, it can either increase or decrease the brightness measurement. So as long as you use something consistent, then your results will stay consistent. So, so at 75%, we're at 182. I'm going to move down to 50%. So once I click the button, it takes about three-ish seconds for it to take the reading. So I put the pattern up for about six or seven seconds and then hit the button. So that was 245. And now we're going to go down to 25%, and then I will do a black screen to cool it off. All right, that was 389, or basically 390. Now I'm going to do black screen. So I find at smaller window sizes, if you take a measurement right away, you'll have a pretty decent number and then it will continue to climb over the next um, it's, I would say it's random but let's say 20-ish seconds and then it will decline after that once it's hit its peak. Another thing is LG TVs seem to measure best at 10% or right around the 10% as you get smaller they don't get brighter whereas the Sony TVs don't measure well at 10% but they do at the smaller sizes. So we were at 390 with 25%. I'm putting up 10% window now. 700, pretty much on the dot. So I'll give it a few seconds and go to 5%. 790 at 5%. I'm going to do another black screen. 
All right, two percent. The screen is up. Wait a few seconds. Seven ninety-eight. Do one more black screen before the one percent. Now with the white balance adjustment, the highest peak that I was able to measure uh, beforehand was nine hundred and fifty-six, I believe it was. So this TV can get bright with the peaks um, with a little adjustment. And without the white balance adjustment, the highest peak I had measured was 875. Alright, so now we're about to do the 1%. 900. So also pretty much the same, but 800. Let's give it a few seconds and run it again just to see if it changes, if it's going to drop down. Nope, it's still climbing, so 805. Do another one. So 800 was the consistent, you know, with the 10 seconds and the cooldown period. Now we're just checking. Let me hit read continuous and see what the peak gets to. So far it's at 812. Of course the battery died in the middle of that. Anyway, as you can see, 814 was the next number. And now I did another cooldown. I'm actually going to do 2% because I find 2% actually gets just a touch higher. Remember, we're just trying to see the overall highest peak number we can get right now. We already checked, and about 800 is the highest average sustain that you can expect. So, see, we're back down to 790 because it needs to warm back up. I'm going to go back to 1% window. It's not wanting to get back up there again. So that's the problem with brightness measurements on these TVs. They just sometimes aren't that consistent. it's so easy to vary your numbers just how long the patterns on there how warm the TV is and it wants to stay around 800 right now we go to 10% uh, Now I'm going to go to 100%. Now back to 5%. Sometimes changing the window sizes around will uh, get it to push a little bit more sometimes. Now it seems like it really wants to stay around 800 right now. So that is that highest peak of 956 that I had measured was on a 5% window. Right. Switching back to 1% now. And we're down to 750. Yeah. I'm going to do a 15% gray full screen so that the TV is not off but it's very dark and if you can see the screen right now you can see the image retention Actually, I might as well just go ahead and turn this around you 
and see that square right there for the image retention from taking the measurements. So I'm going to wait for that square to dissipate and then go back to it. Alright, 2% window. See, and this just shows how much variance there is in these measurements that the peak previously was 815 and now we're at 785 so that's a 30 nit difference in its peak number just depending on what the TV feels like doing in that moment that's why you shouldn't put so much uh, stock in measurements that you see in reviews It's still climbing a little bit, but I'm about to just call this at out of the box 800 nits peak, even though I know it can go quite a bit higher when it wants to. Alright, just change it to 10%. That's pretty much where we started, just a touch higher, but again, that was on a smaller pattern before so this shows what happens if you go from a smaller pattern to a little bit larger one you do gain a little bit but that's just because the center of that 10% window is a little brighter a little warmer than the rest of the 10% window all right that's enough so let's call it 800 nits peak and 7 to 715 at uh 10% um, and then 150 full field so that's uh, pretty much it for out of the box we'll see what we get once I make some adjustments to the service menu thanks for watching have a good one